I'm really happy to see, you know, like people, some young ones, you know, some 23, 22, 20, coming into satsang now, at this age, with this maturity. I'm very happy, you know, I'm very, very happy because uh, in my life, I've always um, like moved very quickly like mature very quickly you know and so very often I um, outgrew my relationships particularly with like partners and so on I grew very quick because something inside was just so wide and if I look back from the time from a very long time as a young person I was very much interested in art you know painting and drawing and so on like this and as I grew older, that that became an obsession. I was painting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of painting. Even when I I was talking to Lakshmi this morning, and uh, we were looking through some stained glass designs, you know. And I was saying that she asked me, "Did you go to art school?" And I said, "No, I applied, but I was refused, you know, because uh, at the interview they told me you are practicing so many diverse things, and we don't know if you're really open for." You know, this kind of training here, you know. I was very upset, you know, but it was very good for me. Because something inside was too, it was too wanting to burst open. And uh, my feeling was that it was going to be uh, like I, I wanted to make the, the ultimate painting. I wanted to create the ultimate work of art. I don't know how you do this. But I had so much passion inside, and I was painting, re you know, relentlessly every day, painting, 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 going to the bathroom, putting up five paintings on the wall, watching until the bath goes cold, or what, heating it up, and just constantly feeling what would the greatest painting? How would I do this? You know, it's like it's something inside I wanted to do this, not to compete with anything, because I've seen great works of art by great artists of diverse expressions as well too, from Pablo Picasso to Michelangelo to Raphael to Rembrandt to uh, Titian to all of these, uh, Cezanne and all these artists, you know. But it's not, it was something else. And uh, one night I dreamt I had made, a, I'd finally ma accomplished the greatest painting. But it was always moving, it was always changing, because it could not be a thing. This is what I found. And even after this, uh, during this time, I was training martial arts. You know? And uh, again, I was very attracted to people like, like Bruce Lee, for instance. I was very much attracted to him because he was also searching for something that was like not just a groove of study. It wasn't just Wing Chun or Tai Chi or Karate or Taekwondo or nothing. It was like something was a synthesis of all of them because there was something universal inside. And he was working towards what is free, so something which is free. He started to study philosophy and all of these things. And I felt I had the same kind of obsession to try and find something that was so organically complete and all-encompassing, but I could not find it until that knock on the door from inside came. Because I was not searching like that, you see. It was just when I had this first encounter, when I say a kiss from inside, and that feeling inside, that was the first taste of universality. There was something so big, there was something so like it had no shape, but it was so big. I first called. I say, I so called. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, because everything was in it. It was like a super nourishment. Everything was, everything was good. Everything is good <coughs> about it, no? And continued like that. Like everything is good. Everything is together. Everything is one. 
And I realized after this, no, then the urge to paint stopped. The urge for martial arts stopped. All these urges, because this is what I was searching for. But I didn't know, you see. I was thinking I could find it in, in art and in the, you know, martial arts and so on, and, and painting. And, but it was here. That's what I'm searching for. And now this is the message I share with everybody. Is this you're searching for? The, the, the completeness that only the pure Self not can give. The Self cannot give. To whom is it going to give? It's just the one who is looking for it has to be absorbed in it. It cannot go to the Self and take some Self away. It has to realize, I am that, just to come into this. I realize, I, I, I am that. Not immediately. There was still duality in that I felt, you know, that God is somewhere else, is separate, and, and God was like feeding me and giving me like this. It is okay, it is an okay paradigm to feel God is giving. But I knew also God is inside here. That was my experience. It's like God is inside here. But there was still a duality for a while because I still had me in the picture. And then I, now I don't have this me in the picture. It's not, it's not in the picture. This me has become a very, very weak thing. And somebody goes, "Hey, Tony, move!" And like, oh, hey, how you doing? And I know it's the, it's the past is speaking, not the present is speaking, not the presence is speaking. It's the past. It's time is speaking, memory is speaking, because the one they think they know, it's kind of still can fake it. Still, something is there. And I say, "Hi, hi." It, it understands what you're speaking. And it understands the relationships that you speak, but they're not alive as they are in the believing mind when consciousness believes itself to be a person, you see. So that can be there. It's just not like Tony Mu, who is Tony Mu? No. No, I know exactly what is being referred to. And so will you. You will know exactly what is being referred to when someone calls you by your given name. You see? But there's a name before your given name, and the name before your given name is I am. This I am, because everyone, every living being, every person also, refers to themselves as I am. And yet no parent gave their child the name I am. I am is the name of consciousness, it's the name of presence, it's the name of God inside this body. You are to begin there, start your search there, to understand what this I am is. Before you try and understand what everything else is, that's what we try, we've been trying. In order to want to know about what outside is, you have to become a person. But when you find what's here, then you see that all that's outside springs from here. And this is, uh, this is what I want to point. <laughs> so, the sooner you get it, the better also, because this message is not for any particular group of people. My sharing is not for just any group of people. It's not for Muslims or Hindus or Christians exclusively. It is for everyone, because everyone is this. You see, <clears throat> I don't believe God made Christians and Muslims and Hindu. That is not the essence of what we are. That's the, that's the way in which we practice, you may say, or this is the mirror in which we look, or the window through which we look to find the Supreme. First you think he's outside only, but you must also find him inside. When you find him inside, then you find that he's outside also. When you find that he's inside and outside, then inside and outside vanish, because he's everywhere. This one is everywhere. And he has to suck you up. Not suck you up to spit you out again, but suck you up. You see, in, 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 the, in the world of sensations and experience, he has to pull you in. And you think he's going to push you out. When, when he comes out, it's really him also, not you. Because you have not, you by yourself, it doesn't do it. This human thing, this whole human thing, has never really worked. This whole human thing, uh, independent in its consciousness from God or isolated from God, has never worked. It's only survived. To work, it must know the Supreme. It must revere the Supreme. And only by revering the Supreme, it can somehow be, feel its unity with the Supreme. So it is not for any particular person, any particular group, any particular age. It's for any age, any age, because the Self has no age. 
It's not particularly in any religion because the self is beyond religion. It's not particularly any particular thing because it's beyond all things particular and general. So it is for everyone. It's even for the mouse and the rabbit and the, and the cat and the sky and everything. Because all of that proceed out of him. So, just, I'm happy to share this today. Okay. Beloved Father, who dwells within the soul of my being, whose name is Satisfied